Hi guys, I'm Deb Manny from Aussie Mail and today in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how you can weave your very own beaded millipede bracelet. Okay guys, let's jump straight into it. So here's an example of the completed project for today's tutorial. Um, now this is um, approximately 20 centimeters or 8 inches in length. So the materials um, that I'm going to tell you about are for a project approximately that length. So in the rings we need um, in 16 gauge AWG 1.2 millimeter wire diameter with an internal diameter of 7 millimeters. Now you'll need 32 of those rings. In 18 gauge AWG which is 1 millimeter diameter wire you will need an ID of 3.5 millimeters and uh, you will need 124 of those rings. For the beads, we're using Toho Sea Beads, sorry, uh, the size 6, and for those you'll need uh, 60 beads. And for clasp attachment, we're just using a lobster clasp with two uh, slightly smaller ring sizes. This is 3.5mm ID. If you don't happen to have that size on hand, then you can use um, whatever size you've got on hand. The 3.5 millimeter is my preference for clasp attachment and of course you'll also need uh, two pairs of smooth jawed pliers to complete the project. Today we're using pliers from our Zuron range. Uh, we've got a pair of chisel node pliers and a pair of short nose pliers. To start this weave close four of your smallest rings and with an opened large ring Feed those four small rings onto it. Close your large ring up. Then take another open large ring, feed it through the four small rings. But before we close it, feed on two of your Toho sea beads. Close your ring up. Okay, so now move those beads one to each side and we want to take the ring that has no beads on it. We sort of want to push it and twist it around so it looks like that. So I'll show you that again. So it looks like this. You've got the ring with beads on it and the ring without. Take the ring without and we're sort of just flipping it. keeping Making sure that we keep two rings or a pair of rings on each side when we flip it. So this is the first ring in our weave. So I'm just going to take a twist tie. If you don't have a twist tie handy and a piece of wire or a paper clip, something like that, just to give you a handle to hold on to and so that you know where the start of your weave is. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. We want to take two or four of our um, small rings and attach them to the large ring with the beads in it, just there in the middle between the beads. So we've got one, two, three, and four. Okay, so again, just making sure that our um, rings are in pairs, two on each side. We take up another of our large rings and we want to go down through the top of the pair here on the right and around up through the bottom of the pair on the left so that it looks like that. And then of course before we close we want to put on two of our seed beads. Well actually we'll put one seed bead on and 
two closed AA rings, or the, sorry, the two closed small BA rings, my apologies. And then here on the other side, we want to put on our bead. And then with two more small BA rings, we put those on. And then we very, very carefully close that ring up. Now, if you find that that's too much to handle and you can't put those closed beads on, the closed rings on, then simply just close your large ring and put the small rings in separately. Okay, so then keeping a pair of rings on each side, we take up another large ring and we go down through the top of this pair of rings on our right hand side. So down through the top of those, bringing it around and we're going up through the bottom of the rings on the left hand side. And then before we close that ring up, we take and put on one of our seed beads and two pre-closed small rings if you've got them pre-closed and on the other side we do the same we put on a pair of a one seed bead and our pair of closed small rings and we very carefully close that up okay and you just keep working like that adding your big rings first so down through the small rings on the right hand side of your weave up through the small rings on the left hand side and then before you close this up pop on a seed bead two seed beads one on each side in this case and then if you've got closed small rings you can four closed small rings on or if you haven't got your rings pre-closed you can just close that big ring up take four of your small BA rings and just simply add them to the big ring in the middle of the beads just like I am now so that's two ways of doing it. If you're finding it a bit tricky to do the pre-closed method with the small rings, then that's fine. It's perfectly okay to do it this way. This gives you two options. So if your rings are pre-closed, obviously you add them before you close your big ring, or you can add them afterwards, just like I'm doing here. Okay, so we've got our four small rings on there. So we want to take up another one of our large rings. And we want to go down through the top of the pair on the right and up through the bottom of the pair on the left. And then before we close that up, we grab two seed beads and we pop that on the ring, close the ring up, okay, and then we add four small rings to here. And that's basically um, the weave, it's a very simple weave but a very effective looking weave. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep adding the four small rings then we add the big ring and the two beads and we close it out. So I'm going to keep doing that um, for the length of my bracelet. And I will meet you back here in a little while to show you how to um, attach your clasp. Okay, so I've just added the last beaded unit. So you can see that we've got the beads and the four rings. And to finish this up before we add the clasp, I'm just going to take one more of our large rings and feed it down through the rings on the right as normal and up through the rings on the left. But this time I'm not going to add anything to it. 
I'm just going to leave it like that. So we close that ring up. And then for the clasp attachment, I just take out my small, uh, small 3.5, 16 gauge 3.5 millimeter ID ring. But again, whatever size you've got available will do. I put that through our final large ring. And before closing, I add the clasp. Close the ring up. So that's your clasp end. And the other end is where we're going to attach or close our clasp onto. So I just remove the twist tie from the end, take up our other clasp attachment ring, feed that through the end there, and that's that's it. So if you like, you could add a little extension chain onto that to close your clasp onto. Oh, totally up to you. But you just simply close your clasp, and there's your completed beaded millipede bracelet. Okay, well, I hope you really enjoyed this video today and you found it to be useful to you. If you've got any comments or questions at all, um, leave them in the comment section below this video and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Also in the description tab below this video are the links to our website where you will find everything that we use today to create this bracelet. Um, also in the description section is a links to our social media platforms. So, you know, if you want to share what you've made with this or any of our tutorials, uh, we would love to see it. So, you know, tag us in Instagram or pop it up on our Facebook wall. All those links are there and we, we would really enjoy seeing what you guys do. Um, if you did really enjoy this video today and you'd like to see more of these videos made, then consider giving us a, you know, a thumbs up here on YouTube, share the video, comment, or if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel here. Every little bit of interaction that we have with you guys helps us and will enable us to make more of these videos for you in the future. All right, so again, I hope you really enjoyed this video today. Check out our other videos here on YouTube and we'll catch you again soon. Bye now.